Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin, where today we are looking at a little bit of a hype preparation planned. Yeah, I'm feeling like this channel's just getting completely full of Final Fantasy at the moment, so I thought, right, not just bloody embrace it. And today we are checking out Final Fantasy XV Brotherhood. Yes, the miniseries, the little kind of character series that was actually shown before we got our most recent trailers and our most recent demo of Final Fantasy XV. Um, it's meant to explain the brotherhood between the characters and Noctis, the, our four main protagonists, and how they're related to each other and how important they are to each other. I know a lot of this might actually get articulated through the actual gameplay, so I don't see this as spoilers, more as kind of like a preamble. It's a... I think the whole idea now that they're trying to do with the Final Fantasy games is to not heavy load it with as much plot, let people kind of expand and understand it in the lore in the world. And they've gone hell for leather with having Kingsglaive out and having this out and um, having uh, trailers and demos that actually are completely unrelated to the main campaign and storyline. So yeah, this is Final Fantasy XV Brotherhood. We're going to start with the first episode of this. Uh, there's five episodes in the series as far as I know, so we're going to work our way through all of them. Of course, this is all brought to us by the friendly people at Crunchyroll. You can, of course, get a pass for Crunchyroll if you give a shout under the comments underneath. I actually have some gift passes to give away. Of course, go to crunchyroll.com forward slash pastiche of skin if you want to actually sign up and get yourself registered for the great, wonderful anime and K-drama and J-drama wonderfulness that is on the ch station. I mean, I'm literally going to be showing material here that actually is available for free on YouTube and anywhere else. But, um, yeah, the fact that Crunchy will have it as part of their service is kind of cool. I'm looking forward to seeing this, so let's sit down and watch it. I have seen it once before, but um, obviously it's like I saw it as the episodes came out, so I'm not too aware of, or can't remember exactly what. I know what happens in each episode, but I can't remember which ones are actually more interesting than the others, so let's check it out. And episode one is Before the Storm. Oh, Final Fantasy 15. The, the whole kind of like boy band commentary people have been having about Final Fantasy 15's main cast is understandable, completely fine. I have no qualms about it whatsoever. I think it's actually um, a fairly reasonable complaint that we've got uh, Bishies up the wazoo, but um, and Bishies up each other's wazoo essentially, with the implication that people have about the story. But um, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with it. I think, I, I think it's like, just like an idea of actually having. Um, a brotherhood rather than actually a bunch of random people who ran in together each other makes sense like everybody's revolving around Noctis this is Noctis's story so one fucked up an angry Naga so this is actually the story that was being told in retrospect in the platinum demo the Naga that attacked and killed Noctis's mother is actually the one that we're seeing here now oh, we need to turn that down slightly I don't know what was the reason why that was actually up a little too high. Just for the fact that feedback, you guys are getting like the normal level one, but I don't want to actually have it feedback into me. So yeah, uh, Noctis' mother was killed by a Naga after they were attacked on the road. And um, the whole story of Platinum Demo is up until this moment where he's coming out of a coma. So the Platinum Demo takes place just before Brotherhood, if you haven't played that already. Uh, of course you can, check out, I did a video of the Platinum Demo a while back whenever I ran through it, so you can check it out from there. Um, I might actually throw it at the end of this video as a previous video to check out. So as we're introduced to our main four guys. <clears throat> Wake him when he gets there. I mean, yeah, that excited. <laughs> it feels like uh, Nocta spends a lot of time sleeping whenever he's not actually interacting with people. Nocto? 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 I obviously figured out exactly who you are. <laughs> you charming asshole. So, little um, characteristics are kind of weird. Uh, I mean, since you get to learn a lot about them, I mean, Noctis is like picky eating as he's <laughs> pawing through this burger. And just pass them off on one of his comrades. <laughs> it's, a, it's a kind of a perfect example of a really, really kind of like uh, placated and appeased prince boy. Kind of babying him. He'll never learn to eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the appears to be the two adults at the table with the other two. The mommy and daddy of the group. 
That's a little bit. That was a very heteronormative thing for me to say, but yeah, it's just essentially it's like the, the two sides of an argument. We're both in complete agreement, but obviously just falling out with each other for a moment. So the Empire obviously is in reference to the, the takeover, uh, the ones that are being attacking Insomnia, the ones that actually took place in Kingsglaive, which um, I've got a feeling time-wise this, <clears throat> the events of Kingsglaive, I don't think happen too long before this. Like this kind of storyline is where Noctis has gone to whenever they refer to it in Kingsglaive. Uh, that he was away somewhere safe and who he was sent with and then of course they're making the trip back now because of the attack and destruction of insomnia so i think a good portion of this game is all tying up to have us all meet with um with the girl on the way out of the city while we're on our way to the city and then have to go somewhere else go to a, an external a third location in a way just so that um we can uh prepare There's for take, like taking down the Garlean? Is it Garlean? I can't even remember. Is it Galean or Garlean? Kind of government or um, empire? <clears throat> well, the end of Lucius. Whenever they say the Crown City, they do mean insomnia, right? I, there's still so much I want to tell dad is of course with the implication that his dad's still alive which um, I'm sorry to say is a bit of a spoiler for me to say like um, Kingsglaive kind of actually is the fall of the kingdom so there's a lot of things that go horribly horribly wrong Unless there's actually a possibility that he survived and then they've resurrected him or in some way. <laughs> Bean soup. So this kind of like camping setup. Um, I've seen people in gear like oh, look at like oh, it's the Conan kind of like clueless. Oh, I didn't mind to skip that back there accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the Conan review, whenever this clues gamer review, whenever he actually um, pointed out that they, like they were kind of magic pockets where they pull out the camp gear out of. I like this idea that actually like the tent item is actually literally tents now. Like they actually have a reason like they set up and they kind of like make a space for themselves. That don't become the like, character moments where they kind of interact with each other or kind of like, fit with the time. The, the continual time that's actually happening in the world. It's a great idea. There you go. It's actually, the, the, the whole idea of them being together is kind of cool. Damn right. This is so well prepared. I don't, know, I don't know why, but I'm really, really hoping that this isn't just kind of like visual, kind of like little bits and pieces they add in. Like, I want to actually have to buy supplies for surviving out in the wilderness. Like, I, I don't want it to be like a reason why I have to keep grinding out missions, but I want it to actually be something that I kind of have to choose and equip to have. I don't know why. It's, like one, it's in my head. This Final Fantasy game is getting so much closer to. Act it's actually um, turned into so much more of like almost a survival open world game rather than actually being. My, my expectations are all over the shop. I mean, if it's, uh, in my head, I should just expect it just to be a, a traditional role playing Final Fantasy game. But I haven't even got to play the uh, demo yet, which do of course doesn't even articulate all of this detail. It's kind of like just the demo of combat and running around the world, I think. Yeah. Go. So, of course, Doctus is the big gun. <laughs> Boom! So this 
flowy combat, the actual like the warp combat, the weapon switching, it seems to like been the, the big push of actual like speed. Like the I felt that the weight of the characters in uh, the platinum demo, like the movement, felt a little bit too not lag, but just like too stiff. Too, um, you have to be really prepare and plan and target it rather than speed up a flow like a, a really good spectacle fighter could actually do. I love these mech designs though as well. I mean, it, they make it so you can go, like, probably go all out on character rather than actually them always being a good character. Uh, if these are going to make the standard enemy stats for the majority of the game, that would even be too much a problem with that. Just like different levels of them, like different colorings of them, I suppose. <laughs> Obviously, like, you want to take down the ground troops, but you probably should wait for like a ship to bugger off so that you didn't actually have to deal with them, but... Uh, trap. You just drop that shit right on top of the sword and just fail. Oh well, what was the point of having the lead guard? He took his life, yeah. <laughs> See, I'm surprised there wasn't actually a reference to this in the Platinum demo. That's one of the things that actually on, like, messed up my head. We were going like, oh, uh, we obviously like know something happens with Kiddo, but what is it? And then it showed in this, but not in the Platinum. Rather than actually find an iron it would be amazing to fight the Naga instead. Uh, so that's the first episode, guys. So, I mean, they're really, really short episodes. Um, we're going to try and go through all five of these reasonably fast. Um, you should be able to see these as they go out day after day. I mean, probably between episodes of World of Final Fantasy as we approach the release of Final Fantasy XV. Of course, um, there is going to be um, more material, more knowledge that we're going to get about Final Fantasy as we go along here. I just wanted to kind of uh, jump into these little background bits and pieces and materials so you can see what's going on in the world before the game actually starts because uh, I, I'm, I've got a feeling a lot of people are going to be in that same kind of like clueless Conan kind of uh, feeling of actually I have no idea what's going on here I don't want to know what the stakes are and why are we going to a wedding why are we actually uh, like I know it was for comedy but at the same time I know there's a lot of people who would actually kind of get that feeling about Final Fantasy games because they can seem slightly uh, impenetrable and unenjoyable because of whatever depth of plot that's going on rather than actually being um, a, a, like a, a very active, kind of easily understood shooty bangs. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been the first episode of a series for Final Fantasy XV Brotherhood. So you can of course always go to youtube.com forward slash Final Fantasy XV to catch all these episodes yourself, or you can come here and watch them along with me. So thank you very much for watching and we will see you all again very, very soon for another episode of the show. So of course you can always hit the subscribe button up here and you can always check the bits on the side over here for um, a bunch of uh, other shows and of course the trailer I did of or the video I did for Platinum. So um, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.